Welcome back to the channel guys, in today's video I am doing my 1000 subscriber special so I want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel and it is awesome that I've managed to get to 1000 subscribers, never thought I'd be able to do it but here we are. <music> Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have a few reasons to be excited. You may be able to hear that. Um, I am currently in a hide and I'm waiting to photograph the kingfisher. So yeah, I don't want to spend too much time talking. But we've already had the grey wagtail show up. That was awesome to see, absolutely incredible. So I'm going to get my camera set up and then I'm going to probably talk a little bit more about my actual camera settings um, in, in today's video because I realise I don't usually talk about my camera settings, so yeah. So if you're new here, my name is Ben Fitzcosta, I'm a wildlife photographer and my channel is all about going out and photographing wildlife. So if you're interested in that, maybe consider subscribing. In today's video I'm using the trusty Canon 7D Mark II with the 100-400mm f4.5-5.6 lens. And uh, yeah, for this situation I think it is perfect. So currently what I'm doing with my settings is I'm going for the perk shots uh, this morning and then as the light builds up later I'll change to my other custom mode uh, where I've got the shutter above 3000, 3200 um, to try and get some in-flight shots as it dives down so yeah what I'll do in the afternoon when the light picks up is I'll increase my shutter speed to around about 3200 or above um, put my aperture up to around about f8 and then we can try and get some in-flight shots as it dives down to catch the fish um, but for now this morning um, as the light is limited I'm going with a shutter of 1 500 and an f6.3 ISO 1250 I'm using the back button focus um, so I'm presetting my focus in the focal plane where it should be diving, um, it should be perching, sorry. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. waiting here for about an hour now and um, I've heard the kingfisher but there's been no visual sightings yet so even though I'm in a hide for kingfishers it's still unsurprisingly a uh, very elusive bird um, I think it's time to get myself a cup of tea. Yeah. Thank you. 
the um, the photograph. was diving down a couple of times and it kept missing its target so it kept coming back up to the perch um, and it just enabled me to basically try and get some awesome shots um, what I'm doing is I'm pre-focusing uh, like a manual focus on where its flight path is when it just beneath the branch uh, and I'm hoping that when I see it take off I'm just going to trigger finger it 10 shots a second and um, hopefully one of them will be sharp and I'll get a uh, decent image of the kingfisher flying through the, through the sky um, yeah if not I've got some awesome awesome images of the kingfisher on the perch and uh, yeah so happy I just want it to come back now <laughs> we just had the kingfisher um, on the perch and yeah, I'm really, really happy with this shot that I got. Yeah, I, just look at this. Yeah, I'm just so happy. Um, oh, I've been waiting hours literally hours um, probably about four or five hours and um, I finally got a shot I'm really really happy with so anything I get from here on out is a bonus to be honest with you absolutely love it awesome <laughs> so I just moved over to the other hide um, there are two hides on this site and uh, I'm the only one here so just moved over to try and get a different angle um, get some different shots it's really useful to set cust your custom modes before going to a hide and to change them also depending on what species you're photographing 
so if I just quickly show you how to create a custom mode um, and then I can explain to you how I'm using these custom modes to help me photograph the Kingfisher today alright so what you want to do to create a custom mode is choose the shutter speed that you want so say for example I'm going for a in-flight shot I want it to be at least 1,300 to one, one 3,200 sorry um, and maybe f8 ISO 800 and then to save those settings into a custom mode you go to menu so yeah if you come over to the little spanner then go along to the last tab and just tap on um, custom shooting mode click register settings then custom shooting mode 1 and click OK then that will go through and do that then if we change these settings and move to custom setting 1 the settings will be those that we saved a minute ago likewise you can then change the settings again to a different say for example you just want portraits lower the shutter speed um, and then do the same thing but save it to custom 2 or custom 3 alright so the reason I've created some custom modes for shooting in the high today is because it cr just makes it so much easier for me to switch between settings um, when photographing the Kingfisher so for example if I was going for some in-flight shots then I know I've got to switch to custom mode 1 because that is set with a high shutter speed and a wide aperture likewise if I want just portrait shots of it sat on the perch I can ch change to custom 2 because I've got a slower shutter speed less ISO and it's ready to go but yeah this hide is um, I can't remember the name of it but I will put it in the description below it's in a place called Otterborn um, Pete his surname um, photography or something like that or hides um, I'll double check for you and I'll put it in the description below if you want to check it out I highly highly recommend it it's also where I did my water bowl vlog which I'll put the link to up here um, absolutely incredible and Pete is just an awesome guy so yeah check it out if you're nearby it's definitely worth a visit it's about half past two now I've been here since half seven this morning so a good seven hours um, in the high today um, it's been amazing it's been more than I could have asked for or imagined absolutely incredible day in the high photographing the kingfishers today um, and yeah I've really enjoyed it uh, I hope you have as much as I have um, if you like this video please consider subscribing hit that like button and maybe even comment down below also if you want to support the channel maybe consider buying me a coffee the link to that is in the description below thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video I don't know why I haven't mentioned it before. Um, oh, my arm hurts.